Welcome back to Gab's Kitchen Adventure. Today what I am doing is mashed potatoes. I'm sharing with you step-by-step -step process of how I'm doing this. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to click the subscribe and uh, the bell icon. And that way you could go ahead and receive notifications of when I go ahead and post new videos. Stick around and I'll show you step-by-step -step process of how I do this. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gab's Kitchen Adventures. If you like to see any additional recipes, uh, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon and the like button. Today what I'm doing is mashed potatoes and uh, what I'm adding is garlic, uh, minced garlic, about a tablespoon of it. Um, you do wanna add four cups of potatoes. If you could find red potatoes, that would be ideal. If not, uh, rosette potatoes are great. You are gonna add um, half a cup of butter, salt to taste, as well as black pepper to taste. I'm using this one today. And I'm also adding uh, the minced garlic. Um, optional to add shallots, it adds extra flavor. And if you wanna even increase the flavor a little bit more, you can add one cup of Gouda cheese shredded. Uh, if you're lactose intolerant, you could leave the Gouda cheese out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix everything. What I did previously is I went ahead and cut the uh, potatoes and I put them to boil. So these are already boiled uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, rotary beater and mix all the ingredients and keep mixing everything in there until it's the desired consistency that I want. What I did is I went ahead and kept, kept uh, uh, using the beater for about 10 minutes and this is the consistency that I'm looking for. Uh, so this is your basic uh, potatoes, mashed potatoes, which are about four cups of potatoes, half a cup of butter, salt to taste, as well as black pepper to taste. I did add one tablespoon of minced garlic and uh, I Again, I cut the potatoes into cubes, boiled the potatoes until it's very soft, and drained the water. Then I added the potatoes here in this container, added the butter, salt, and, um, and pepper, and continued uh, with uh, whipping it with a rotary beater until the, uh, the butter melts, and, uh, and honestly, just continue beating it until it got to this consistency. This was about 10 minutes um, going to high speed. And this is the end product. I did add rosemary uh, for decoration only. Of course, you could also add rosemary to add additional flavor as you're mixing the mashed potatoes, which I've had in the past and it's really delicious. Uh, thank you so much for joining and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Again, if you'd like to see more recipes like this one, click the bell button and subscribe as well as like. Thank you so much and enjoy your meal.